Hey folks, Mr. Dell here. We are looking at a problem where we're going to need to graph a couple of equations um, and they will graph into being lines to show all their solutions and then talk about where they intersect and what that means to those uh, equations as well as then use algebra, use a, a equal values method to actually also show how to find that solution to this system of equations. Okay, so this is a question from CPM's course three, and this is section 5.2.3, okay, uh, and specifically number 5-50. Uh, so it says graph the lines, so you've got two lines. We have this y is equal to 2x minus 3, and then this line here, y is equal to 2x plus 1. So remember graphing, we're going to use the form y equals mx plus b to help us to graph that b if it's in this form and both of these lines are in that form. The b represents the y-intercept, right, uh, where it crosses the y-axis. This is the y-axis. And the m represents the slope or the growth from point to point, right? So going from one point to the next, that represents the slope, the growth. So uh, let's start with this y equals 2x minus 3. So we start where the y-intercept is. We That's our first initial point, right? When x equals 0, y equals negative 3. When x equals 0, y equals negative 3. So 1, 2, 3 down here is negative 3. That's where the y-intercept is. When x equals 0, y equals negative 3. So that's the y-intercept. Then I use this the slope or the growth rate, that 2, to find the next point. So starting at the y-intercept, I'm going to grow, what, 2, right? So that means go up. You're increasing up 2 over 1. Every time you go over 1 point, you're going up 2. So up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. And I just keep keep with that rate from, from um, uh, integer point to integer point here. And then I, if I want to, I can also go the other direction down to backwards one. And that's kind of that opposite just to show that same linear path. And that line, we will connect the dots of this line to show, again, why do we connect the dots? Why do I use a solid line and I use arrows on my graph? Because I want to show that every single point that exists from here to here, all of these this whole solid line is full of multiple points, values, coordinates that would work for that equation, that make that equation true. So that's why we graph that line, and that's what that represents. So let's do the next one. The next one is y equals 2x plus 1. So once again, my y-intercept, I'm looking here, is plus 1. So x when x equals 0, y equals positive 1, and that would be right here, right? So that's where the y-intercept is for that problem. And then my growth, again, is 2, right? So the, the slope is 2. So from this point, from that same point, from the y-intercept, I'm going to go up 2 over 1. It grows up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. And then I want to, I can go backwards down to backwards 1 just to continue that, that rate and show this consistent linear pattern. So if I'm going to connect my dots once again to show all of the values that would make this equation true right and then we throw arrows on it oh i forgot to name them too so i'm going to just go and name this one and i'll name the other one too you put the equation next to the line so y equals 2x plus 1 next to that one and y equals 2x minus 3 next to that one just to show which line was represented by which equation so now the question they ask is, where do they intersect? Well, if I look at my two lines, I don't see them intersecting, right? And in fact, if they have the exact same growth rate, if you look at the points, they'll continue to grow right alongside each other, but never cross. What we These are called parallel lines, right? So these are parallel, parallel lines because they have the same growth rate, right? And they also have different y-intercepts, so they're they're not the exact same line. So they'll never cross. So they're different equations, different representations of solutions, but they're never going to cross. So where do they intersect? We would say 
they won't, right? They'll never intersect. So then it says to solve the system using equal values method. So let's see what happens if we did this out uh, graphically, we can tell you that there's going to be no solution. So we'll, let's see if that's true when we do it using the equal value methods. Remember equal values methods is this. I'm looking for where these Y's are the same. If I want to know where the Y's are the same, this Y equals this and this Y equals this. So that Y equals 2X minus 3 and this Y equals 2X plus 1. So I can set those two expressions equal. So 2X plus 1 is equal to 2X minus 3. So I'm setting those expressions equal to each other because that's where I want to find is where, where are those equal? When are those equal? So we would solve these like we normally would solve equations, which means to get all the variable terms on one side. And when we do that, this is what we notice, right? When I subtract 2x from this side and also from this side, the two the x's cancel. And I'm, now I'm just left with a number 1 on this side and a number negative 3 on that side, but those are not equal. So when we do this algebraically, we again see that x has no solution, right? When you come up with a situation where you have an untrue statement and all your variables disappear, x has no solution. Right. So that, again, confirms that we will not have an intersection point. So if X has no solution, there's not going to be an intersection point here. So C, explain how your graph and algebraic solutions relate to each other. Well, I kind of am saying that. So the lines are parallel. So the lines. Right. I'll, I'll write this. The lines. Are parallel. And will never cross, never intersect. I'll use that word. And then the um, equal value method um, gave us x has no solution. Right. And so both of these situations, there's no, no solution to the system, right? Because of that, there's no solution to the system of equations. Okay. So those two reasons will never intersect. So there's no solution. And then the equal values method also gave us a situation where there was no solution. So no, no intersection, no solution to the system of equations. Okay, there you go.